The meibomian glands produce the lipid layer of the tear film in the eye. The lipid layer protects the eye's natural moisture or aqueous and allows the eyelid to glide safely over the eye. Cells on the inner wall of the meibomian gland acini produce oil. In a normal eye, when you blink, the lids touch and pressure is applied to meibomian glands, causing them to express small amounts of this oil. The upper lid then pulls the oil upward over the eye as the lid opens. When the gland becomes blocked, there is not enough oil to coat the tear film, and the aqueous evaporates rapidly. Without adequate lubrication between them, the eyelids and cornea can abrade each other, causing inflammation and cell damage to the lid wiper and cornea. Simply removing meibomian gland blockage isn't enough. The acini may not start producing oil again until the accumulation of dead cells within them are flushed. Doctors now have the ability to assess meibomian gland dysfunction with a meibomian gland evaluator, or MGE. The MGE exerts pressure consistent with a deliberate blink, allowing evaluation of gland secretions in three regions of the eyelid. Using the MGE, secretions for five glands in each region are scored on a scale of 0 to 3. 0. No secretions. 1. Inspissated secretions. 2. Cloudy secretions or 3, the normal state of clear secretions. The lipoflow system uses heat and a 12-minute pressure profile to remove blockages in the meibomian glands. By heating the glands from the inside, blockages are liquefied. Gentle pressure is applied from outside the lid from the base of the gland to the gland opening, removing blockage and flushing dead cells from the gland. The lipoflow activator insulates on its inner surface and vaults the cornea to protect it from heat. Therapeutic heat of 42.5 degrees is accurately controlled and directed outward, away from the cornea to the lids. The device never lets the cornea exceed a safe 39.5 degrees, unlike chemical heat packs that have been shown to overheat, also unlike manual lid massage. Lipoflow safely applies pressure to the lids, not to the cornea or the globe. The primary components of tears, mucin, aqueous, and lipid, combine to create a complex viscoelastic structure. This complex structure is responsible for a multitude of important functions. Lipids prevent evaporation, lubricate, and stabilize the tears. Meibomian glands at the margins of the upper and lower lids produce and inject complex oil into the tears with each blink. This thin layer of oil prevents tears from evaporating and increases lubrication and comfort. Additionally, the phospholipids found in this oil stabilize the tear layer and improve cohesiveness. In a healthy eye, tear production is carefully balanced and controlled. Excessive evaporation of tears can stimulate overproduction of the aqueous component. This chronic overproduction of aqueous may be linked to eventual inflammation of the lacrimal gland. The symptoms of dry eye can include feelings of dryness, grittiness, burning, ocular tiredness, and discomfort. The oil produced by the meibomian glands becomes increasingly cloudy and thickens further to a paste-like consistency. On manual expression, these properties as well as plugging of gland orifices may be evident. As the condition worsens, eyelids display signs of inflammation and dilated blood vessels. With dry eye, sensitivity to environmental factors like wind, temperature, and humidity increases. Interference with normal vision may become noticeable. Often the individual considers it part of the normal aging process when in fact, dry eye can have a significant impact, causing loss of productivity and poorer quality of life. One of the most common treatments for meibomian gland dysfunction and associated dry eye is at-home warm compress therapy. This approach has limited clinical effectiveness. Heat is wicked away by blood vessels in the eyelids, limiting the amount of heat reaching the meibomian glands. Beyond the lack of effectiveness and the onerous routine for the patient, use of warm compresses can introduce excessive pressure on the globe. Other treatments, such as lid massages, also put pressure on the globe, 
possibly elevating intraocular pressure and potentially leading to permanent corneal distortion. The lipoflow system uses heat and pressure to clear blocked meibomian glands. By applying heat directly to the glands on the inner eyelid surface, heat rapidly and efficiently raises gland contents, liquefying any blockage, making it easier to remove from the gland. Pulsatile pressure is applied to the outer eyelid surface, moving from distal to proximal ends of the glands. This action moves the blockage towards the gland opening and evacuates the contents. During this process, stagnant gland tissue may be removed from the glands. The lipoflow activator is inserted by gently tucking the scleral interface between the upper lid and the ocular surface temporally, then guiding the lower part of the scleral interface under the lower lid and centering the activator by closing the lids. Excessive evaporation of the tear film due to a poor lipid layer from MGD can lead to increasing discomfort, poor vision, inflamed lid margin, and damage to the ocular surface. When MGD is not treated, blockage of the glands results in downregulation of oil production, eventually causing the glands to atrophy, lose function, and drop out. Completely atrophied meibomian glands leads to chronic discomfort and potentially sight-threatening damage to the ocular surface. Maintaining normal meibomian gland health and function is critical to the long-term maintenance of ocular surface health and good vision.